Welcome back to another Levity Books Review. My name is Liam and I hope you're reading well. I recently lost at Charades thinking my family would know from Rude Playwright that I was talking about Oscar Wilde, but then I remembered not many people read plays and that's why I'm here today. I think it's a shame because plays are the ultimate human performance. They bring only the best stories to the stage and in my opinion only the best stories can succeed on a stage and today we're talking about a successful play. You can read a legally free and perfect edition of Lady Windermere's Fan by Oscar Wilde on your Kindle or e-reader from the link in the description below. That's exactly what I did. This is my first Kindle version review of a book on this channel. Lady Windermere's Fan is a short free act comedy about a young wife who thinks her husband might be cheating on her because he's giving large sums of money to a woman who is flirting with just about every man in town. And she's been invited to the party, but there's been a massive misunderstanding and everyone is just trying to stop the marriage from falling apart. It's this frantic race. This play is a hilarious and candid social critique of marriage, public scandal and the differences between men and women. It's light-hearted, witty, fun, cheeky, it's perfect for an uplifting end to what has been a hard year for most of us. And Lady Windermere's fan contains incredible quotes about how we're expected to behave in public. I believe being a homosexual put Oscar Wilde in a unique position to call out problems between heterosexual men and women in society and also probably made him more perceptive to them. In this play, Oscar Wilde explicitly claims, perhaps for the first time, that, air quotes, between men and women there is no friendship possible. Nobody has ever called him sexist for saying this, but he ratifies it so well from the perspectives of both men and women. The reason I read this play now was to find a quote that I want to put in my PhD thesis, which has helped me through a lot of hard times. I had a very emotionally turbulent adolescence, and one of my friends would always tell me this quote from this play, which is, air quotes, we're all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. And to me, this quote meant that no matter how hard things get, like this year, for example, there's always room for optimism. We can always look up at the sky and think about how wonderful everything is. But it turns out now that I've read this play, I was greatly misinterpreting this quote. I won't explain how here because it will have mild spoilers, but I've went into detail on it in my Goodreads review, which is linked below. Now finally, one thing I want to briefly mention is that there is a medical condition named after this play. Lady Windermere Syndrome is a bacterial infection of the lungs. This bacterial infection was happening only in upper class white elderly women, and they later found it was due to their fastidious nature. Their reluctance to cough in public because it might be rude and the, the lack of coughing was, was causing this infection. Later literary critics have pointed out that when you read this play Lady Windermere is a young bride and she never coughs in the entire play so it doesn't really match the patient characteristics. Nevertheless, I think this is a great name for this condition as it highlights the actual malaise of upper class sensibilities on one's happiness, which is entirely what this play is about. So reading Lady Windermere's Fan will make you laugh and it will make you challenge the importance that you place on social propriety. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and download a free version of this wonderful play from the description below and happy reading.